everyone, I am Meg Tucker from Meg Tucker Talks, and who is this with me? I am Angie, and I'm the marketing specialist from Egg Farmers of Alberta. I am so excited you're here, first of all, because we have worked together now for a year. Oh, happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! It all started last year. Yes. So awesome, and I adore you, and I adore your entire company, I think for, oh, we have to drink. Mm -hmm. For what you guys stand for, how many egg farming families in Alberta? There's a hundred, just over 170. Amazing. It's a lot. Amazing. Just good people, good family for well, today. We're really excited. Um, and I'm loving your sweater. Yes. Super festive. <laughs> um, this is your chance to win something major. Yeah, it's pretty big. Like it's major, but it's, you, you have to wait till the very end, but yes. it's major. Um, the goal for today is we're calling it Holiday SOS. Yeah, it's the perfect the perfect recipes, I'd say. Yes, and I think that where I don't know about you, but we struggle at this time of year to find time because yeah. we're all busy. I think if you work full time and if you're a mom or if you have a family, it's really hard to get everything done. And I think that we put so much pressure on ourselves yeah. that we have to have these perfectly curated Pinterest worthy things and who has the time for that well you just want to impress everyone yes and it's tough it is tough yeah. but we are here to help today because if you can see we have created four awesome holiday SOS um, recipes that all use eggs in crazy like in, in crazy weird ways that normally some of them are you would guess but yeah. some of them you might not to look at these, you'd never think there's eggs in here. Right. And they're delicious. Okay, perfect start. Let's start with these. Okay. So all of the recipes now that we've created, they're on your website. Yes, eggs.ab.ca. Perfect. Go to the recipes, they're all there. Okay, now these are called um, Naughty and Nice Pecans. Love it. Uh, these are actually, I can't take full credit because my husband, Wade, who we call Wadey, uh, he made these a couple years ago and now we're hooked. And would you believe that there are eggs in this? No, like they're just- It's not like an infomercial. Would you believe that there are <laughs> eggs like in this? It's just like the perfect little crunchy nuts. Yes. Not too sweet, not too salty, like they're There's delicious. a little bit of heat, so you eat those. So basically it's pecan halves. You can get the recipe, of course, online, but it's pecan halves and then you have the wet ingredients, which are egg whites. So you mm -hmm. take your egg whites with a little bit of water and you whisk it, not until you get peaks, but very, very frothy. And then you literally coat your pecans in the wet and then you toss it with the dry, so sugar, there's a little bit of cayenne, which you can up or lower, depending yeah. on what you like. Um, some sugar, so it's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. It's delicious. And you bake them in the oven for about an hour. So and you have to toss them. You or... would you would toss it to get them coated, put them on a sheet pan with parchment, or if you have one of those mats. Yeah. And then you wanna get them in the oven, um, all your timing and everything is written on the recipe. Give them a check. Give them a little bit of a toss if they're looking like they need a flip. Yeah. It's not fussy. And I don't know, for those of you who know me or who know my family, we're not very fussy about recipes. And that's why this one's really good. Yeah. It makes a really great little nibble. It makes a great appetizer if you've got company great coming. Baggies. A little for hostess gifts. gift. That's yeah. for you. So they're great if you want. We always call them in my family take with. Yeah, so when you come to my house, you have to take something with you when you leave. Perfect. So they're a great little a gift. So it's like a foodie type gift. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so that's done. What do we move to next? Are we ready to move on? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do okay. it. Okay. So we are moving along. We are here for Holiday SOS with yeah. Egg Farmers of Alberta. Angie, um, what's work like for you right now this time of year? Or, or for the egg farmers, the egg families? It's busy. And I mean, they're all families. And... Chickens don't stop. rest. They don't, <laughs> they stop. don't stop. So for them, like they're in the barns Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, but it's nice because they're all with their families and they so check on the eggs. And I mean, they give us eggs that are nutritious and healthy. So I, nice. for those, and I've shared my journey, my experiences with you guys yeah. over the last year, and I'm so grateful that I have had a chance to go to two different farms with yeah. you. It is a wild experience they are so salt of the earth they are so kind they are yeah. so hard working and that goes for 
all farming families. I think all agriculture. Yes, really. yes, yeah. absolutely. It's just um, these recipes are easy to make. You do not have to be an expert in the kitchen. I think this is like the perfect one yes. to make if you had guests coming over. A hundred percent. It's something that's not super messy yep. and you can whip it together and I mean, it's gorgeous. This is the mini maple flans and when we got, I got, we got married in, not Angie and I, Wayne and I got married. <laughs> <laughs> got married in Mexico in 2015 and flan is a traditional dessert and it's everywhere yeah. in Mexico so oh, I've always loved it I love anything that's custard based yeah. or the creme brulee I mean amazing all of those yeah. but this could not be easier you literally use a can of sweetened condensed milk a can of evaporated milk a little bit of vanilla three star eggs so that's the star of the dish yeah. and a little pinch of salt whip it together Pour it into um, little ramekin dishes. Before you do that, I'm pointing to maple syrup. You just add a little glug. That would be my technical <laughs> measurement. A little glug of maple syrup in each dish and you just sort of like coat the dish. Yeah. Pour the egg mixture in and then you put it into a glass baking dish. So you set your ramekins down in and then you do what's called a water bath. So you don't have to boil water and just turn, make the water hot. Yeah. And just fill the baking dish until it goes up about halfway around the ramekins. You bake them for, I would say, it's all on the recipe. I think I did 50 minutes total, but your ovens vary. And then you take them out and then you just run a knife around the inside of the ramekin. And then you take your plate, put the ramekin here, and then, wait, no, you hold your ramekin, you put it on. <laughs> You put your plate and then you hope for the best. You say a little Christmas prayer and then you flip it and then you just literally lift the ramekin and this is what you have. And it just like the maple syrup just We need to try these. Yes. But seriously, they're so easy. So and I, easy and delicious and I love mm -hmm, how mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. ingredients you can find at every grocery mm -hmm. store. You're not so going good. to like, no, you know, this little boutique. No, it's easy. It's super yeah. easy. This is a great one, like you said, when you have company coming, if you do something special, maybe on Christmas Eve. Yeah. They're it's easy delicious. and they're not intimidating. You saw me flip them all out. Yeah. They're not hard to do. No. Nope. So this is the mini maple flan. This is recipe two. Two. Of our two holiday four. Are we ready to keep going? Yes. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. So we've had our appies. Yeah. We had our dessert. How do, you, it up. how do you feel about brunch? <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> so when you're in the kitchen, what do you do for, say, Christmas morning with eggs? This is Angie from Egg Farmers of Alberta. I'm so happy yes. to be here. Yes. Love it. What do you um, guys do? I think my go-to is a cinnamon bun. Ooh. Because you can set them overnight, put them in the fridge. And forget them. <laughs> and forget them. Yes. And then you pop them in the oven. Oh, and then they just come. Don't turn it in. This is something that we created for the holiday SOS with Egg Farmers of Alberta. And this one, you can think of this kind of as a blank canvas. So I would normally do a savory. So I would do like the egg and cheese and ham, yeah. that strata, which I think we talked about last year. Yes. But this year, we wanted to come up with something that's sort of French toast, sort of custard, throw in some fruit. Yeah. And we came up with this berry brunch bake. And it looks <sighs> delicious. It looks delicious. It's bright. It's festive. Yes, it's yeah. totally festive. We use raspberries, but you can use any kind of fruit. You can use a mix of berries. Um, and basically what it is, we bought a loaf of the challah bread, so the egg bread, yeah. which gets a little more eggs in there. Um, and it also, or brioche, yeah. rich, yummy, buttery bread. Um, but you could use baguette. You could even use to be easy that Texas toast, like the thicker, I thicker think, bread. Yeah, thick bread, thick bread. Yeah. Um, leave it out if you can, just to kind of let it go a little day, couple days old. Mm -hmm. And then you're essentially making a French toast. So you cube all the bread, and then you make your French toast, which are your six eggs. Yeah. We also use. Um, whipping cream because it's the holiday the best the calories don't count they don't Christmas. count they absolutely do not yeah. count uh we throw in a little maple syrup and then what puts this over the top instead of just being a french toast bake with berries there's actually um cream cheese in here as well the so, best the best so yeah. we took cream cheese you sweeten it with uh powdered sugar a little bit of maple syrup a little hint of salt 
and then that's a, a mid layer yeah. that gets added with more raspberries. So it might be a little bit hot, but I want you to try it. Okay. So this is the I'm holiday berry brunch bake, the recipe you can find. Come on. Mm -hmm. Does it not taste like a melted Danish? Yeah. It's so good. And the cream cheese just like elevates it because it gives it that little bit of kick. Yes. So it's not super sweet. It's not crazy sweet, but it's so good. It's so good. It's so I'm good. glad you like it. You can of course up it. You can drizzle maple syrup. You can, yeah, sky's the limit. But this is the berry brunch bake. Again, using eggs in all of the dishes today. Stay tuned. We have one more recipe. I'd say this is probably my favorite. Me too. And hey everyone, Meg Tucker from Meg Tucker Talks, joined by Angie from Egg Farmers of Alberta. We are here sharing holiday SOS recipes, and this one is your favorite. I mean, they're all delicious, yes. but I think this is the one that really puts it over the top. Mm -hmm. And so easy. We're calling this the showstopper of yeah. the four. Holiday SOS is a chance for you to take four recipes that maybe you're not familiar with, put them into your regular rotation, maybe this holiday season to keep things easy and to have people go, cool, I didn't know you could use eggs in this. Yeah. These are called salt cured yolks. So that's a concept that is weird. It's weird. It's, it's such a strange concept to wrap your mind around. Yes. But it's so good. So let's go so step by step. For the other ones, we really just talked about them. We're actually going to do We're this doing one. it. We're doing it. We're <laughs> doing it. Okay. So we start with the beautiful egg. And yes. these are, Angie, can you tell us the difference between a brown egg and a white egg? Oddly enough, there's nothing. They're the same. A white and a brown egg, the exact same nutritionally. Right. But I think a lot of people refer to the brown egg as more nutritious yes. because it's more expensive and you have this mind frame that brown is better, brown pasta, brown rice, but but it's not. The only reason brown eggs are more expensive is because brown birds are bigger. So oh. they eat more. Oh. So it costs the farmer more to have. I'm learning too. Which is crazy. So really, I mean, a lot of people prefer the brown. They like the color. Yep. A lot of people think white are bleached, but they're not. They're not. They're just... The, it's just a pure white egg and they're the exact same. Here's a fact, Joy, that I will share that I have learned partnering with you guys for the last year that I absolutely love. We often have the impression that we need to, um, and I won't say where, but maybe go to like a certain boutique type spot to get our yeah. eggs. What you don't maybe know is that when you buy a carton of eggs from the grocery store, they could have literally been laid by the girls four days earlier. It honestly, the, the turnaround, you could get them within 12 hours. That's insane to Okay, me. so like, let's get to the salt cured yolks because you're probably thinking I'm confused by what this is. What is it? It's easy. So we start with the egg itself, still in the, in the shell. Okay, and then enough. this is a mixture. Again, the recipe is on your website, yeah. which is? eggs.ab.ca and that's e g g s okay not to be confused with egg right a g right right <laughs> eggs right. e meg egg we got egg. it okay yeah. so you want to take this is a mixture of um, salt and sugar and this is what does the curing and you're really just going to make a little an indent and i'll let you do the next ones okay. there you go so you're really just you're not going all the way to the bottom of the dish that's okay <laughs> That's okay. First time. It's all good because this is the little this is the little well that we're going to actually be placing our cracked egg. We want just the yolk. We're going to put it into a new little home for the next yeah. week. So we're, we're going to get down and dirty. We're getting in here. Are you yep. ready? Okay. So guys, we're going to just scoop on in. You're going to get your yolk, and then you're just going to get. It's okay, little <laughs> mama. Just go right on in your new little home. It's such a weird feeling. But how, this would be fun it's with the kids. So cool. You could play with, uh, you don't play with eggs, but you could make this with your children. Yeah. So you try to get all the little, the white part off. If you have a little there, it's fine. Plop your egg yolk into the little well. So Here's cool. Here's a cloth. We've yeah. got cloths on hand here. We're going to get this guy out of the way. And I'd say save the egg whites yes. too. Yes. Why? Because then you make your pecans. Hello! People. People. <laughs> it's easy. 
It is so easy. It's Again, easy. the pecans need egg whites, so that's what you use those for. So I don't know if you can see, we're gonna show some pictures at the end of this, but we've got our egg yolks into the salt and sugar. You have the rest of it in a little thing and your bait, I'll just do one and you can do the rest. So very carefully, it's like a science project. That's legit what this is. <laughs> you wanna cover them. Well, when I told Meg, I was like, I think we need something super cool. And I was like, I think you, yeah, main word here, you yeah. should try. <laughs> and you can let me know how it goes. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's just like, it's such it's a cool wild little. So we'll use the rest of the salt and sugar. And then now that they're in their little wells, you literally cover them up because this is um, part of the curing process. And how long does it take? Uh, so typically four days, between four and seven, I left the last batch, which we're now gonna move to, in I think for almost a full week and that's fine. You're totally fine. So this is something that I guess you could be, I mean, it's a make head, you kind of have to think about it. But what's great about it is once they're fully made, you can put them in a zippy and just put them in the fridge for your whole holiday season. Perfect. So just make them yeah. now, start them, get them in your fridge, your company, your family. It's very cool. Yes. All right. So this has now been sitting for a week in the fridge, covered in the fridge. And we have, I want, there's one. Okay. It's literally like excavating. <laughs> so you have to kind of dig okay. and they're already kind of firm. Like how weird Isn't is it? Isn't it insanity? So this is what they look like. Yeah. It feels like like a like a it's like, like a jelly. like a juju. <laughs> yeah. Like that's the consistency. Then what we normally would do, we would bring a bowl over with water and we would like wash them, which is again which so is again strange. wild. So you yeah. literally would just brush the salt off. Yeah. Wash them under like just cool water, not hot water. No, you just, don't want to. Yep. Yeah, right? yeah, just hot yeah. or cool water. Get them all rinsed. It's wild. Then you take a baking sheet and then you take a cooling rack that you would put like cookies on. Yeah. Put your cooling rack on your baking sheet, give it a spritz with nonstick yeah. spray. And then these, pretend that these are all nice and like totally washed, like you wash your yolks. And then you yeah. plop them onto the cooling rack so they're a little bit elevated from the cookie sheet. You're then gonna put them into your oven, the lowest setting your oven goes. You wanna go around 150. So not the keep warm setting. I don't know what that temperature would be, but maybe, maybe. Okay. And then you literally put them in the oven for 90 minutes. And it doesn't cook them. It hardens them to the point where they look like this. Crazy. This look is, at this. Look. Like, yeah, this is, they're Look hard. at it, they're hard. They're like a little salty, delicious puck. So what we're gonna do, if you wanna grab it the- It looks like an apricot. It totally does. And I, we need to point out also that the yolks themselves, and I don't know if we took the time to look, the yolks themselves were quite pale, but look what happens when you bake them. Look how orange- They go quite orange. They do look like apricots. Yeah. And it's interesting too, because a lot of people think yeah, so the talk darker about that. the yolk, yeah. the better it is for you. Yeah, but that's not, true. not necessarily true. Right. Um, out in Alberta, because we're so heavy in wheat, yep. we feed a wheat-based diet to the chickens. And so that makes a lighter colored yolk. Whereas I grew up on the East Coast, yes. where it's more corn-based, correct? Yeah. And that would give the, maybe when you crack the actual egg, it's, it looks like it this looks to like start. That. Yep. To start, but what's very cool is these were not this dark. No, they were quite they were quite, quite light, pale, yeah. quite pale. So now you're probably asking, what the heck do we do with this? What do you do with it? Here's the fun part. These little showstoppers, okay, I get so excited. There's like perfect little gems. You could put one of these on a little side plate beside everyone's dish. Yes. With a little mini grater. You can grate this over Caesar salad. Amazing. You could yeah. grate this over a yeah. yeah, total infomercial. <laughs> That's not all, Angie. That <laughs> Guess what else? <laughs> you could grate this over pasta. Amazing. Can you imagine this on fettuccine Ugh. or like carbonara because it has the egg yolk yes. in it? Okay, so do you want to yep. grate? We okay. have toast. So we're going to do toast. Yep. But 
even so in the recipe it actually shows it on like a cracker yes i'm like and how beautiful would this look wait before you do it i want you to try a piece so i've sliced it you yeah. can slice it but i mean you're it's gonna crazy. you're gonna flip out you know what it tastes like to me it almost has the consistency of parm yeah but you know when you fry an egg mm -hmm. and it's like the yolk is that buttery yes. salty it's delicious isn't it yeah. good so yeah. you're gonna grate that i'm gonna cut it okay i don't know if you guys can see but like i'm literally grating look at it the egg yolk look at that and it's so fun and it it just blows my mind that this is a thing and you can even I'm double down put an egg with egg yolk totally on top. totally egg yep. two ways three ways yeah look at that you can see through it isn't that That's wild amazing. so this is the holiday sos we have shown you eggs four ways. We've got our sweet and salty. Um, we've got so good. Naughty and nice pecans with mm -hmm. egg whites. We have the mini maple flan. We have the berry burst French uh, brunch bake. And we have the showstopper, the salt cured yolks. Isn't it good? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now it's is so the, easy. It's so easy. Yeah. It's so easy. This could be your holiday, and we are not finished. We are going to make this even better. Yes. You showed up with a major prize. <laughs> I did. This is something that I personally would love to win. I'm so excited. Myself. I'm so excited. So we're kicking off the holidays in fine form. Yes. It's the holidays. It's the holidays. It's magic. It's magic. It's magic. Angie, what have you done? What has Egg Farmers Belberta done? We have a super, super amazing exciting gift in here for one lucky winner i can't i can hardly it's got some it. weight this it's got some weight. is amazing okay so this is the time where we tell you how you could win this the contest is officially open yes we are keeping it open until 11 59 59 mountain standard time wednesday we'll announce the winner on thursday yes how do they enter what do we want people to tell us so we created some really awesome recipes we yes we yes <laughs> um, we but some that you would typically think eggs were right. so our challenge for you yep. to enter is you tell us how you use eggs kind of the non-traditional way awesome you part don't... of these boxes yeah yeah <gasps> <gasps> okay <laughs> i'm hyperventilating you guys are you kidding me <laughs> right now Okay, I'm gonna go like this. That's, <laughs> That's gonna be the last part. Okay, so the first thing, egg Super farmers in Alberta, come on, <laughs> be merry dish towel. Yes, and wooden spoon. Amazing. What is this? <laughs> A set Those, of these are super cute. Twenty chocolate spoons. Super cute. You can put them out. You can keep them for yourself. Dark. Milk, milk and hazelnut. Perfect. Come on. Super cute for kids too. Yes. Oh, Super I love nice. it. Yeah. You could make your um, mini maple flan and try to eat them with those. No. Why not? Okay. I know you know Anna Olsen. I and do. You love her. She. So she's a local. I see local Canada. Yeah. She's kind of a big deal. Yes. Um, I have met her multiple times. I love her. She uses ingredients and things that. Anyone can make more than 125 recipes from her hit TV show. We love Anna Olsen. Yes. We do All right, we'll put that out. You are so generous. You could win this basket. We've got medium roast got holiday coffee. Because I mean, you can't get through the holiday season without some coffee. You can't. Caffeine. You need to tell us a non traditional way that you like to use eggs, and you could win. I'm sorry, it's not even hot chocolate, it's drinking chocolate. Only the best. Only the <laughs> best. This is, okay, Ange, this is incredible. Little candle. Sparkling cider. Yeah, that's just going right over it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, this is the, this brand. I know where you got a lot of this stuff. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, it wouldn't be eggs without good, oven. these are great ovenets. Yes, they're good. <clears throat> oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> so to complete it all, you what is this? A little um, branded egg farmers, little doodad. What? 
is happening? Because you have to have something to make your coffee in. And so we have a beautiful little French press set. <gasps> what? Yeah. Is it's some little cups happening? <laughs> like trying really hard. This. And again, if you don't like coffee, that's why we throw in the chocolate, hot chocolate. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on in a branded box. Yes. Okay, this is major, but that's, that's not all. That's not all. I can't believe you did this. In addition to all of this, what is the value of this entire gift? For um, 100 bucks? Yeah. Ready? Yeah, it's up there. Are you ready? You get... 50 weeks of egg. You know what I want to do? I want to be like this. <laughs> 50 weeks. That is almost an entire year almost, yeah. of eggs. Free. Free. Free eggs. Keep these in your purse. Yeah. Every time you go to the grocery store, 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all free eggs. Mm -hmm. You are incredible. Yes. Thank you so much. You could be winning this unbelievable basket. Yeah. I don't think you guys have done anything bigger ever. This is incredible. We want to wish you the very best holiday season. We hope that you have enjoyed the holiday SOS. You can enter now to win. Yep. The it's recipes right. again. All on eggs.ab.ca. Yeah. Yeah. If you have any questions, you can let me know because we created them here in this kitchen. Yes. I want to say thank you to you. I adore you. I cool. love working with you guys. And we want to say thank you to you. Thanks for coming up with these amazing recipes that are so easy to use with eggs. With eggs. And we've made it easy for you to eat more eggs. Yes, we have. We're so getting 50, one dozen. I can't even believe that. Well, how, I don't even know how many dozen eggs that is. The math is 50. 50 times 20. <laughs> Uh, this is why we cook. It's a lot. We're not. It's a lot of <laughs> eggs. Enjoy. Please enter. Yes. Please, please, please. And make sure to remember to uh, follow eggs too because yes. so you guys good. have a lot of really great recipes. You share tips. You share stories. Yeah. Stories of all of the egg farming families that we yes. love and we are so grateful to. So thank you very much. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And we'll see you soon. Good luck. Good luck. Bye, guys.